Hello guys, welcome back to the Show Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix WWE 2K23 is having server error or can't connect to online features or it is having connectivity issue when they are trying to play the game and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into this. So the first thing what we need to do is we just need to restart the PC and that is what we need to do. For that we just need to go over here in the start, click on this icon, go for a restart. After restart is successfully done, we just need to play the game once again and see whether the issue is solved. If this is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to make sure date, time, time zone and region are correct. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search. We need to go to settings first. Go to time and language over here. From here, first select date and time. Make sure the set time zone automatically should be turned on as well as set time zone automatically should be turned on as well. So both the thing that set time automatically as well as set time zone automatically should be turned on. Both the things should be turned on. Once it is done, we just have to go back, navigate to language and region. From here, try to make sure the windows is on English language and also the country or region it should be according to your geographical area. So I'm from India, so I have selected India. So you have to do the same. And this is what you have to do. Next step is all about, we have to go back and try to play the game and that is not working. We need to allow the game to window security. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go to control panel. Now from here, go to windows defender firewall. Now from here, go to alone app or feature through windows defender firewall. Now from here, we need to keep scrolling down and keep scrolling down a little bit and we need to navigate to WWE 2K23. So over here, most probably it will be added here as you can see WWE 2K23 is already added. So make sure and the private and public should be checked. If this is not the case over here, as you can see, we have to uh, make sure the private and public should be selected. And if this is not added, then we can add it manually and how to do this. For that, just click on allow another app, go for browse, go for this PC, go to local disk C. Now from here, keep on scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam. Now scroll down and navigate to Steam apps. Go to common. Now from here, WW2K23. Now from here, select this and open it and add it. So I'll be getting error because it's already added. So make sure this is added and just close this and go back and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about we have to perform a power cycle. For that, we need to shut down the PC, unplug the cable completely. Then we need to press and hold the power button and turn off the Wi-Fi. Once after that, just wait for a few seconds, like hardly five, five minutes. Then restart the Wi-Fi and turn on the computer once again. Then try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. So that is what you need. So I'll be providing detailed one in the description so you can check according to it and you can do this by yourself. So let's move to the next one. That is, we need to disable the manual proxy. For that, we need to go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, go to network and internet, go to proxy. Over here, if it is turned on, we have to turn this off. So we need to turn off the uh, proxy. It should be turned off. It should not be setting up. So just turn this off. As you can see, if it is turned on, you have to turn this off. Once you're done with this, just close this and go back and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about we have to run few commands in the CMD. So these are the commands which I'll be giving in the description. So just go over here in the search, type code CMD, go for run as administrator, go to the notepad, copy the first command that is IP config flush DNS, paste it, press enter, go to the next one that is IP config release, copy this and we need to press it enter. Now let's move to the next one that is IP config renew. Copy this and we need to press it, press enter. Now we need to go for next one. That is NTCH Windsock reset. So just copy this. We need to paste it, press enter. So I'll be giving everything in the description. So you don't have to worry. NETCH INT IP reset. Just copy this and paste it, press enter. Now I'll go for next one. That is NTCH interface. Copy this IPv4. I have to paste it, reset. I have to go for next one. There is NETCH interface IPv6 reset. I have to copy this, paste it and press enter. 
So last I have to move to the next one that is NETCH interface TCP reset. I have to paste it as well and press enter. Once everything is done, I just have to close this. Go over here, restart the PC after restart is done. Just go back to the game and try to play the game. Last one, not last one, we have to do a few more steps. The one is all about we have to perform a reset in the sense we have to go over here in the search. Now go to settings. From here, go to network and internet. Now from here, we have to go to advanced network settings. Now from here, we need to go for network reset. When you go for this one, you'll be, we need to connect the, to the Wi-Fi once again by giving the password. So make sure you knew the password of your Wi-Fi, which is already connected. So go for network reset and remove everything. Go for reset, uh, reset it. And once after that, connect it back to the Wi-Fi, then try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we need to uh, update windows for that we need to go over here in the search now go to settings now from here go to windows update at the bottom left now from here make sure if you're having any updates like these just make sure they are going through everything is fine just update the windows and make sure this is on the latest version next one run the network troubleshooters for that we need to go over here in the search once again go to settings now from here go to network and internet from here go to advanced network settings now from here, sorry, not from there, we have to go over here in the system. First go to system, keep scrolling down and navigate to troubleshoot. Now from here, go to other troubleshooters. From here, you just have to check with the network troubleshoot. For that, we need to go for internet connection, the first one. Do this network, uh, just do with this. And once it is successfully done, check whether they're going through any kind of issue or not. If they're not going through any kind of issue, we are fine with this. We just have to make sure try connecting with it once again and you can check yourself whether they are going through any kind of issue or not. If that is the, not the case. We just have to move to the next step. So next step is all about we need to verify integrity of game file. For that reason, we have to go open the Steam once again. Go over here in the Steam, select the game, right click and go to properties. Now go to local file. Click on verify integrity of game file. So as you can see, the game is around 730, 73.24, uh, which is quite heavy. So when I click on the verify integrity of game file, this is going to take a lot of time. So I just have to do is I just have to wait for it. So just uh, here and we are in the middle of video, so I'm going to skip this up. So uh, just click on the verify integrity of game file. This is going to take a lot of time, as you can see. So all the files, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. And that is why it is very important. You can try this out. Once all the issues are sorted out, that is going to work for you like a charm. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out. When you're having an issue with WWE 2K23 server error, can't connect to online features and connectivity issue on your PC or laptop and how you can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.